Hey guys, it's uh, it's me. I'm back. So um, right now I just got my just got done eating at Kidoba. Now I'm going over to Starbucks to get some coffee. A little tired, so I gotta wake up with something, right? Yeah. So here's the wonderful place I like to get my coffee from. It's really nice here, actually. I like it. Hi. Well, I'm about to order. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, uh, Starbucks was fun. Oh yeah, here's the here's my place for employment. Beautiful place, really nice. I like it. Um, I got an iced caramel macchiato from Starbucks. Those things are really good. I like them. If I could, I drink them every day, but I get super fat from that. But I'm in track, so I can burn everything off. Yeah. So right now I'm backing up, going. Off. So now that I, I started driving, I got my permit on the um, my license on the 20th. I turned 18 on the 19th of this month. But ever since I got my license, I've been having to bring my brother things and take my brother everywhere. I drive Justin near mostly everywhere he needs. Give, taking him rides to meets. Taking him, yeah, it's it's been hectic with that. But it's also really fun too, cause I get to connect with a good friend. And also, um, talk to him about stuff, so, yeah. But, now I have to go drop my brother his charger, because he was stupid enough and left it at home. So, to run him his charger. Um, right now I'm vlogging off my phone. I would use my iPad to vlog right now, but, um, I'm driving. So, I'm using my, um, my phone to vlog right now, so. Um, yeah, it's... It's pretty fun. Um, let's see. Today was fun for me. I did track practice, stretched, watched someone get their ass kicked. Pretty fun. Um, other than that, um, I'm waiting for my friend Justin to text me or call me when he's ready to go home from the track dinner party that he's having with his with the um, 400 runners and their coach. But, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of upsetting that he gets to go and have some fun and parties. But it is what it is, and it's how the coach wants it, or it's how the coach set it up. But, um, yeah, so, um, I know I didn't vlog in the morning. I was too busy trying to get ready for school and uh, get my brother to school, too. So I didn't have time to vlog this morning and I didn't have time to vlog before track practice. But um, I I need to get in the habit of uh, vlogging before I go to practice and whatnot. So uh, uh, you guys all know the gist and everything or what's going on at track. But um, I'll try to get Justin, I'll try to get Justin's in with my vlogs under YouTube. But um, yeah, it's, it's kind of it's kind of hard to because I have to find some time to in my day to vlog, but um, yeah, vlogging's pretty fun. Since it's my first time doing it too, it, it's kind of interesting. It it to me vlogging it's a way of telling people what you do and exactly what you like, and it's um it's a way that you can get yourself out to the world and tell your tell the world about yourself, which is kind of fun. And you get to do, and you get to see what people do in their lives, and it's pretty cool. And I also feel like it's a way how I can um, communicate and talk and get myself out there and let people know who I am. Um, if you guys have any other, if you guys have any other definitions of what um, vlogging means to you, please comment down below in the comment section about what you think it is. And um, I. I just need um I just need some people to also comment on uh, what I can do to make my vlogs better or change them up a little bit. Um, if you I don't want mean rude comments under my um, comments or chats because it doesn't it kind of hurts to see um, people posting mean things about other people and whatnot. And um, I I really wish people would not post or cyber bully people but it is what it is I guess and some people are different but to me um, I want my chest to be clean if I do see things under my account 
or under the chat that are mean, I will um, flag it or I will um, message you in a private message under YouTube or I don't know exactly how I'd do it, probably Google will message you or something. But um, if I see any um, uh, stuff that I don't like seeing, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out who it is or at least try to stop it before it um, spreads. But right now I'm pulling up to my brother's friend's house to drop off his freaking charger. Ugh. I, don't you hate little siblings when when you're the older one and you can do all the driving and you have to bring your sibling something that they forgot? Don't you hate that? It kind of sucks. It really does suck though because it's like they're... It's like you expect them to pack everything they need before they go on their um, trip and then yet they never do and then you're the one who has to do everything for them but i'm here so i'm gonna i'm gonna catch you guys up later and yeah hey guys um i'm here so right now i'm up at the um, country club and i'm going to do some workout and maybe eat some food i'm gonna do some running maybe at the um, dumbbells it all depends but right now I'm here at the Sicily Country Club, and it's a nice place. Um, yeah, so I'm probably gonna do some bench press, maybe. Um, maybe run a little bit. My heart's a bit noisy because we're a little bit busy tonight. But um, right now I'm going downstairs into the actual dining room. It's not as loud and busy down here. So right now I'm in the gym right now. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do. Um, let's see. Okay. So yeah, the country club's a very nice place. A lot of us love it. Um. Yeah. So yeah, you can do lifting where you work with your arms. We have unboxing. Um, um, here's some of our weight equipment, but um. Ooh, look nice in the mirror. Yeah. Nah, not really. I need to get I need to get muscles. I got leg muscles because I'm a track and cross country runner, but I don't really got the upper strength yet. That sounds like someone else is in here with me. But um Yeah, so I'll catch you guys later. Hey guys, I just got um done working out and eating. Yeah. So yeah, um, head home now. Just saw a bunch of my teammates in there, kind of embarrassing, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm headed home. It's a bit noisy up here. Okay, really loud up here at the bar. Oh no, it's up here. Um, yeah, it's not like cigarettes smoke out here. Yeah. You know, I just hate the smell of cigarettes. It's like, I don't even get the point of cigarettes. Who invented them? To me, honestly, it's kind of stupid that people smoke. It's like, you're throwing your life away. It's like, it's like you see people every day smoking or vaping. It's like, what the hell are you doing? It's like, I'm smoking. It's like, why are you doing that, dude? It's like you're... It's like you're throwing your life away, you know? It's like you could live twice as long, but no. When you smoke, it's like you're throwing your life away. Right out the track, right out the door. Sorry, my music was on. It's like when you smoke, um, it's like you have a good life and everything. And then once you light it, well, that first light of a cigarette, your life is going down the fucking drain. Mind my language, but it is. And, um, I feel like it's wrong. I feel like it's really wrong for people to do that. It's like, I see I see high school students smoking these days up at my, up at my high school. It's like, really? It's like, there could be other things you could spend that money on. But, um, no, they decided to um, spend it on other things. Like cigarettes. It's like, you could, you could go have fun go do things with your buddies but no you're 
you decide to waste all your money on cigarettes. And hold on, my, my phone is yelling at me for some reason. Oh, low battery. Okay, hold on, you guys. I gotta plug my phone in. Yeah, so I'm still awaiting a message from my friend Justin, who still needs a ride, who needs a ride home from the party. And I'm still awaiting the um, text message from him. Hold on, let me turn my camera real quick. I'm sorry about that. So, I'm still awaiting a text message or call from him saying that um, he needs a ride. Sorry, I'm um, checking to make sure my battery is charging. So, like, like I was saying, people who smoke, they feel like they're throwing their life away. And it's a very stupid choice to do. Cause like, you could, you could save your body and save your lungs and heart for something else. Like, I don't know. Um, say if you're a runner, if, if you smoke, you, you're throwing your life away by smoking. Um, if you're a, um, I don't know, um, Maybe if you, um, if you're in gymnastics or swimming, you're gonna, it's like you're losing your breath because of a cigarette. So right now I'm headed home and I'm still awaiting a message from my friend about me picking him up from the, st I shouldn't say stupid, but to me it was kind of pointless. It's like, why would you only invite, um, 400 runners to your house? Yes, he may be the 400 runner coach, but it's like, if we're going to have a party, at least try to invite most of the team there so most of the team can celebrate it. But yeah. Um, yeah, right now it's for 9.42 right now where I am. So it's kind of late. He says he's... My friend said he's going to get done about 9.30 or 10.30. So um, I'm going to wait till about 10.30 and see if he's ready. But um, right now I'm heading back to my house. So I can go relax, chill, watch some Netflix and whatnot. And yeah, just hang out at my house. Um, yeah, my day was a bit upsetting. My girlfriend yesterday, she went home. Well, she cried in my arms for about 10 minutes. So I was late to class, but um, she's crying because of her stomach. She has a, her stomach's been hurting her for a while. And um, I told her to go home because of how much pain she was in. And today she wasn't at school, and it kind of made me sad not seeing her, cause, uh, um, cause she loves seeing me, and I make her smile every day. <coughs> Excuse me, but um, yeah, it's kind of upsetting that it happened. It's probably um a stomach bug or something, maybe a stomach flu is going around, but um, my friend com was complaining a while ago about it. um he he got sick and threw up too. And, um, he was not stop throwing up. But, um, yeah. I know it may be a bit hard to see me. That's my only light in my car. Unless if I don't have that on, it's going to be... You're just going to see my teeth. But, um, like I was saying, though, it's probably a little bug or stomach flu thing that's going around. But, um, I hope she gets better. I've been talking to her mom and keeping in contact with her mom, making sure she's doing okay and everything. And, um... I, I don't know if I should do this, but um, I need your guys' advice. I'm thinking about taking her out up to the country club and to a movie for um, a date. So um, if you guys have any ideas on dates or if you like my idea, just um, comment down below. And um, if you and um, I don't know if you guys know any good movies that I can take her to or any movie suggestions. But if you guys have any, um, please leave it down in the comments below. And... Um, I will look off the comments and uh, see which one's best. And um, whoever whoever I like, um, I'm thinking of I I don't know, but I don't know if I should do. Yeah, never mind. Um, I was thinking about something, 
but um right now um I'm thinking I just want some good ideas of a date I don't know if uh guys if any of you guys watch the, if any of you guys um or any guys are gonna watch this um put down in the comments um what do your girlfriends like or what kind of movies you guys prefer to take a girl to so um yeah because my girlfriend likes a bunch of things she's all over the board but um it'd be kind of nice if um I could have a few suggestions of good romantic movies that will work. So, um, if you guys have any ideas, just uh, put it down in the comments below, and uh, see you guys later. Hey guys, um, it's the um, it's finally the text I've been waiting for. My friend is finally ready for me to pick him up from the party. So right now I'm headed over there to pick him up. So this is going to be very interesting. I. Hopefully I get there in time and I can get him home and time so his mom's not mad at me I hope his mom's not too mad that he's coming home a little bit late tonight But it's my job to go get him because I promised his mom that I'd go and pick him up and take him there So pretty much right after school. I was in charge of him I'm an adult. I'm 18 so te technically his mom and well technically his mom gave me permission to tell him what to do so now I have to go and get him so I'm gonna have to figure out a way on how to quickly get over there and be ready so when he's done I can he can quickly leave get my damn truck and I can take him home and then I can go home and um, upload this vlog hopefully I can get uploaded before 12 o'clock but if I don't get uploaded I'm sorry um, yeah, but right now I'm driving over there to go get him. So, um, yeah, it's pretty exciting, I know, right? I don't know how many of you guys um, are uh, have their license there and have to drive your um, friends around or your siblings, but it can be fun at times, but just like this morning, my brother, um, I was downstairs getting ready, and he uh, walked into my bathroom, and... He didn't even ask me. He's just like, "Hey, Caleb, can I have a ride?" And he quickly, he quickly says, "Can he have a ride?" And he knows that he knows that he has to tell me a night or two nights in advance of uh, if um, he wants a ride anywhere. Well, if he wants a ride to school, that is. So I know I was mean, and I told him no. I kind of regret saying no, but it's kind of it's kind of my rule if. You don't tell me in advance, because I was I was I was pretty much brushing my teeth, and right when I was done, right when I get done brushing my teeth, I'd head out the door. And right as I was brushing my teeth, he quickly asks me if I can give him a ride to school, and I say no. I know I feel bad about it, but he knows the rule about it, so it's kind of his fault that um, he asked at that time, but. Yeah, he, he had to ride the bus to school. And he keeps complaining to me that um, the bus is extremely annoying and all the kids are um, annoying him. And yeah, I can see where you're, um, where he's going about that. Because I used to ride the bus and yeah, it is kind of annoying. But I just learned to get used to it. Or I usually have um, earbuds and I put earbuds in and pretty much blast music to sound everybody out. And it would it it'd work. But um, yeah... Um, but, yeah, but, yeah, it sucks right now, because now, don't make promises to, um, your friend's moms, if you can't really, um, go and pick them up, but, luckily for me, I can, I have the time, I'm not doing anything, and I'm also getting gas money for picking them up, so that's why I'm also doing this, is, I usually, I don't usually, I always charge for gas money and um usually i charge for five dollars but he's gonna give me ten dollars because um i um i took him out to starbucks and i bought him starbucks earlier today and i bought a monster for him so um yeah um so right now i just passed the destination so i need to make a little u-turn here luckily it's 10 o'clock at night so not a lot of people are out at this time or this Ew, this hour of night 
which is really nice. I like it, but um, at times it can suck. So um, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys uh, go for now, and I'm gonna wait for my friend to come out. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, um, I now just picked up Justin hold from the stop, stop. Oh my Yolo! All right, I um, I finally got my friend Justin from the little party he had. He said it was lit. Shut up. <laughs> Uh, his words, not mine. Um, so right now I am uh, driving him home. Yay. Finally. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm taking him home. He looks awfully tired. Justin. What? Look at the Justin. Justin, not on the vlog. God. Uh, it's a freaking vlog. I'm not, it's not like anyone important is going to see it. A lot of people in front are going to see this. I have... I'm subscribed to two main vloggers and um, I'm reaching out to them. And asking them uh, if they can help me out with um, ideas or tips. You can call them for the vlogs. But I want to see if uh, if I can make these better. Maybe add some effects. Oh, don't you dare shake your head at me, dude. No, I'm shaking the head at freaking signs. Closing on my birthday. Like, oh, oh yeah, Moby's a little bit upset because the road that we, that we usually take to get to his house is closed. And it's a fast way. So now we have to go the uh, long way. And... Uh, Dude. Yeah, Justin's not too happy about that. No, but I'm happy because I'm with my best friend, Miller. Preach. Hey, is there still any more of this? Yeah. I'm freaking nice of it. Yeah, so today, um, Mobley... Oh, no, 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 okay. Okay. Justin has said... Mo Here, you take the camera and I'll let you. Okay. You talk to the So, camera. I was at my coach's house and he was yelling at me because I was just sitting on my phone, not interacting with the other people. And he said, if I don't, if, if you're just going to be sitting there getting, staying on your phone and not interacting with the people, he said he's going to make me do froggies. <laughs> I was oh. so mad. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to get off my phone and interact with people, you know? I'm going to be cool and all that. Froggies suck. Froggies is basically where you run around, like, where the field is in, the, like, the you middle of like the track. Frog. You have, like, you do, like, leapfrog across the field back and forth once. If you say cuss words. So, don't cuss around Coach Matt or else you're doing a froggy. Alright, well, I'm gonna give the phone to Caleb. So, just a mobile, you know, beast. So, um, like I was saying a little bit earlier, um, the monster that Justin has in his hand, he saw his friend have it at school. And Justin has never tried the uh, white can, the monster in the white can yet. So I was stopped at Casey's on the way to we at Starbucks too. Yeah, we stopped at Starbucks and Casey's, and um, Justin finally had the <coughs> white monster, and he saw it sitting in my cup holder, and he's like, "Oh, is there some left?" And there was a little left in it, so he grabs it and like, "I'm fishing it this off." I'm like, "Okay." So um, he's now had he's finally had um white monster, the monster in the white can, and now he's whacking it on. Now he's whacking it on his head. Stop it. Beast! You spit all over me. God, that's gross. <laughs> that, that's the grossest thing that's ever happened. Here, take the camera and you do some vlogging, please. You spit all over my arm. This is the best phone ever. Caleb Miller's just got a stupid freaking iPhone. His camera quality sucks. Mine's better. My uh, camera quality's uh, not that bad. It's better. Mine's better than yours. At least it's up. more clear. Shut up, Miller. I have to wipe my camera off, too. So. I do, too. These, my screen protector didn't crack. Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I had a shadow screen my, and I dropped it and it kind of busted all over the place, so oops. His fault, not mine. But, His. yeah, instead of to, tonight, I'm using my iPhone, not my iPad. Uh, if I, I would usually use my iPad because it has better quality on it, but oh well. I actually can't believe that an iPad has a better quality than the phone. What oh, the wow. hell? Like, wait, 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 wait. what? What is that? It looks like a bubble. See it? It's a reflection. Don't uh, worry. It's not gonna kill you. Uh, screw that. He'll edit it later. Um, um. It's still... reflecting off my screen, not the actual. Well, anyways, Caleb Miller's taking me home. He's getting his payment on Monday. Hmm, should I charge you for Starbucks? Nah. No. I said nah. I, I got. I, I'm giving you ten bucks. I'm not giving you my twenty dollars for my birthday money. I know. I know. It's because I love you. Mm. Yeah, sure you do. Anyways, it's not that kind of love. It's love as a friend. Shut up. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going mushroom hunting tomorrow in the morning. 
6 a.m. sharp. It's gonna suck, but it's gonna be worth it because hopefully we find some morales because that's the shit right there. He's gonna vlog while he does it. I know. I might vlog. Might? No, you are. Come on. I'm gonna be out all the way in the country. I'm probably gonna have 3G. Well, video camera. You don't need a lot of data, though. For a camera. Cord. Yeah, shut up. Shut up, Miller. <laughs> Jesus. Well, hopefully Justin can do some vlogging and then I can get under. Maybe I'll find some morales, you know. <sighs> that's for tomorrow's vlog. That's tomorrow vlog. Yeah, that's gonna be my vlog. Then I'm gonna send it to Miller, and then Miller's gonna edit it. Crap. So yeah. Miller's my buddy. See, look at that. Look, so, at, look at that cute boy. <laughs> it's hot as fuck. Know. He's so hot. I'm trying to drive, buddy. I'm trying to drive. Shut up. You were vlogging while driving, dum dum. Shut up. You missed that. I went to Kodobo. Kobo? Qdoba, my job. Oh, who cares? Kobo's Vietnam, though. <laughs> that so, was so funny. My teacher, um, we were going over the Vietnam War, um, and our teacher drew the weirdest looking Vietnam ever. Nope, next one. Yeah, thank you. And it was, I laughed my ass off when I saw it. And he, he, the teacher saw me taking a photo. He's like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm taking a photo of Vietnam. He's like, well, he kept telling, telling me don't, and then a few days, then the next day I walked in and he drew a different Vietnam, which <laughs> looked a little bit better, but not better at all. <laughs> but, so yeah. funny as hell. Yeah. Um, tomorrow I'll try to vlog about what I do. I may go to Walmart, do some Walmart errands, and then later that day, I think Mobley and I are going to hang out for a little while. Yeah. Hopefully. So Hopefully. I'm going Mushroom Home do it from like 6 to 10. No, maybe. Yeah, and then I gotta go mow right afterwards. And then after that, he's gonna call me and I'm gonna go get oh. off the hill. Yeah. So. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So. Alright, well. See you guys later. I'll peace. See. Anyways, yeah, what he said. So, peace. Ah, fuck. It's right. Anyways. Good night, vloggers. He will see you tomorrow. And he will also see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Peace out, you guys. Bye. Peace. Bye from the best guys in the team. Bye. Peace bye. out. Bye. All right, guys. Um, so I just found out uh, Mobley can uh, spend just well. I shouldn't say sleep over because apparently that's childish. I guess to these days. So he's hanging out over the night with me. So, um, yeah. I should. I should have this vlog up later tonight. Hopefully. Um, I'm gonna vlog over here. So, um, while I'm driving, I'm gonna hand over the vlog camera over to Justin and let Justin vlog for a little bit. Let him get used to it. I've been vlogging mostly all day, so yikes, I'm a little bit tired. Um, so, yeah, let's let Mobley talk about his problems and his day. Hey, viewers. Well, oh my god. Um,. I've had an alright day, uh, not so much of a good week, because a lot of people are just pissing me off, and all. Oh, there you go, talk about your problems. And then, I got a girlfriend today, I'm happy. And, yeah, I mean, my life sucks sometimes. Shut up, Miller, what are you talking about? When'd you about? get a girl? Today. When? I've been talking about this for a while. I thought you only, you only, I thought you only talked about it, like... Earlier today, that's about it. That you're no, but when I t told him it was Casey, I thought it was Casey Sherman. You thought it was Casey Sherman? Yeah, I wish. Oh, shut up. Eh, she's a big S L U T. Oh, shut up. Continue vlogging. Anyways, he's he's dumb. Don't listen to him. <laughs> I'm not that dumb. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Swear. Shut up, Miller. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Marching Man's gonna start in four months. Happy. That's what it keeps everything off my mind because I like thinking about March Man and stuff. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, what else? Um, uh, I have a really boring life. I don't really got much to talk about. I mean, I'm going mushroom hunting tomorrow morning. Gotta go mow. Then I'm gonna chill with my nigga right here. So, saw dude. Saw dude. Yeah, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Don't. I'm. I su I'm probably the worst athlete in the world overall. I mean, I can't. I can't. I can't punt a football because it always goes in the other fucking direction. 
I, I'm always the last. I'm always the last runner in track. I'm always the last one because I'm not fast enough. Shut up! Practice makes perfect. Just gotta get used to it. I know, but I don't even go to many of the meets. I've only gotten to two so far. Because most of them are varsity meets. Well, no shit. I'm not varsity. I'm JV. Yeah, you know. Hey, nor am I. But I get put on the varsity team because of how, because of my speed. If you beat Phoenix. Eh, I'd be the son of a bitch. You deserve it. Finally. I swear, I think Fucking I'm. Ass. Yeah, somebody got me. My friend Eric got me high the other day on accident. Oh my god. What? No? Okay. Not the vlog. We don't want to even talk about getting high on the vlog. <laughs> Look at this sexy beach right here. I smoked a pound of weed last night. Yay. Uh, <laughs> what to do? I shut don't... up! <laughs> Jesus Christ, idiot right here. Oh, shut up. No, shut up, Miller. What the hell's going on over there? Something's going on over there. I don't know. Something I need to worry about. Anyways, like. Life's alright. It can be it can be a pain in the ass sometimes. I know how I know how some of you guys feel. I don't really know how a lot of you feel. Maybe you feel left out. Maybe you are really popular. But I mean, you should just reach out to the people who aren't who are always left out. You know, just like this one right here. Oh, shut up! I'm not left out. Yes, you are. I'm all good. Okay, I'm gonna start doing that. Get out. <laughs> I could drive, I can do it. No, you can't. You yeah. drive my truck. I'll, call, I'll, I'll take my phone and have the police call immediately. Mm. I know my license plate. I know, I know where I live. I know where you live too. Oh, you know true. where I live. Yeah, true. I just don't know the exact address, but I know you live on somewhere. So just... I know you live on somewhere. Well, I'm not going to say it on the vlog. True. It's kind, it's kind of our. I live on the cloud. What? I live on the iCloud. You know, I live in a freaking tent. I live in a I live in a waterproof, dumbproof, boatproof tent. Oh, that's better than mine. At least you don't get rained on every day. It's hard to afford a washroom in the clouds, you know. I wish everything was boatproof. Oh, uh, let's not mention anybody in the vlog. Eh, forget about boating. If you watch it, I'm screwed. You can just edit it out, you know that. Yeah, I choose not to. <sighs> LOL, not. Anyways, well, I think I'm gonna get off now. Give me my camera. Give me the, let me log something. Alright. <sighs> Hands off the wheel for a second. Do not do what I'm doing. Or the... Alright, mm -hmm. shank some light on my side. Well, I'm headed over to my house, taking a nice little long way. Now oh, it's. It smells like an airline, like, uh, runway over here where I am. <laughs> We're right next to a giant rail yard, and it somewhat smells like a runway. I don't know why, but it does, so. Aw, oh, feels freaking low flying. Yeah. Flying is pretty fun. It's really fun, though. I've flown three times in California. Yeah. Excuse me, I just burped. Um, the best part about flying is the peanuts. Those peanuts are really good. Some nice salted peanuts on the airline peanuts. You know, you know Shut what I'm talking up. about, right? Shut up. Wait, don't talk about peanuts. Yeah, you don't like airline peanuts? I've never had airline peanuts. <gasps> I don't fly first class. I fly economy. Doesn't matter if you fly first class or economy. No, I always since I always fly with my stepdad, he doesn't really care for the shit. Oh, uh, that's he, right. He doesn't really buy stuff because he's Mexican. Doesn't really speak that much English, so he doesn't really care for it. All we do is the free drinks. Well, if you're gonna get a free drink, might as well get free peanuts. <laughs> you know what I mean? What airlines have you even flown? Uh, Delta, oh. Southwest, a bunch of others. That uh, Air oh. France, Amsterdam Airlines. Jeez. Okay, I've flown, I've flown American, I've flown Frontier, I've flown U.S. Airways, um, United. Oh yeah, I forgot about United. United's a good airline. I hate South. I. Ha Okay, the well, number one thing I, I hate about Southwest Airlines is the seating arrangement. So you can sit wherever you want. It's like, really? It's like, why are you giving everybody a certain choice? You should, oh my god. Um, it's like, you should, yes, they're giving, yes, they're making you feel free, but 
it's like if you want to sit with your family, it's kind of hard once everyone's bored of the damn plane to sit with their family. So you'd have to beg people or ask people or sometimes pay people to just to get up out of their seat and find a different seat so you can sit with their family. The reason why I like Delta is is because you can pick a row or a, a class to sit in and you don't have to worry about um, trying to be with your family because you can plan the tickets and pick out your seats so your whole family is together and you don't have to worry with staying with an awkward stranger. Um, yeah, well, if you think... It, if just um, if you want, comment down in the comments at the bottom about your worst airline experience <laughs> and then your best airline experience and what airline you prefer. So um, I'm gonna hop off now and uh, drive home safely. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.